It's that time of year again, time for Dr. Orton to be really upset because People Magazine has revealed their sexiest man of the year and sadly, Dr. Orton, I'm sorry. Well, once again, you know, I, we're not I appreciate chosen. you not thinking how? about me. And likewise, I'm sure that you were in the running and you didn't I, quite make, make the cut Not even year, close to making the cut. But the winner, as most of you know by now, country singer Blake Shelton. Good and and I, I will say, we're so happy for you. You, guys, you are the Jordan. sexiest man alive. How did you not? Yeah. So I, I have to say the audience response is surprising because in our briefing, the majority of individuals were a little bit surprised by him being tabbed as the sexiest, sexiest man alive. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of controversy surrounding this. Now, humbly speaking, when I heard this, I was a bit surprised only because I don't look at Blake Shelton and think, man, he is a sexy dude. I think he's talented. I think he's successful. I think he does date Gwen Stefani, but he he, there, he must sexiest have something man alive. going on because he's dated some some pretty hot ticket Yeah, he's sailor, got vocal right? cords that don't stop. Yeah, we, well, but you know, being sexy is not just physical yes. looks, yes. right? Yeah. I yes. mean, it's personality. Yes, it's, I... it's are you funny? Do you listen? Do you care? You're, you're not all about yourself. You make somebody else important. Those things, yeah. from what I've learned, yeah. So yeah, make you sexy. Why aren't you yes. the winner? 2018, okay, I'm pushing for it. Dr. Orton, 2018. A few years. <laughs> I know, I think it's important, you know, you say when it comes, like if this is a sexy meter, then physical right. attributes can get you here, and there's some diversity in that, right? So different yes. ethnicities, different heights, yeah. different physiques. But I mean, if you really want to blow the roof off sexy, you have to be kind, and you have to yes. promote unity, and all of that stuff, like all of that comes into play when you are the sexiest well, man. Well, uh, Travis, you know, saying that there were some people that weren't too happy with his pick, I mean, somebody tweeted, did everyone else die? I mean, that... That was mean. That's that, mean. That's that real mean. That's pretty, really that's mean. That's not mean. That, yeah, that's, that, that I mean, mean, that is, and that's one of the things, too, is that people, when they are in this position, they do come under a lot of scrutiny. And I guess with... Blake, I mean, there are instances when you watch him on The Voice, I think he has that very caretaking element that people are attracted to, and there are studies that show that, especially as women get older, they start to notice those things, not just attractiveness from a physical standpoint, but are you a good caretaker? Are you more responsible? Are you a nurturer? Those things do matter over time. You know, he's, he's had some controversial remarks yep. made in the past. I, I know his breakup with Miranda Lambert was well publicized, and maybe his, some of the things that he has tweeted about made him less sexy to them. Mm -hmm. And so I think that- Well, he you, did make some, uh, some, and I don't know the exact verbiage, but, but he did tweet some things that people suggested were a little racist and homophobic yes. in undertone. And I think we're speaking for all of us up here that's unsexy. That's yeah, it is. that is not cool. But, but clearly, I, the one thing I will say is, yeah. can I can, can I give props to George Clooney? Thank you. Studies show that women love older men. Thank you, George. I, I, I ain't giving up just yet. That's age. They're like fine wine. You leave them for a while, they start People looking better. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm, I'm starting the campaign, 2018. Dr. Andrew Orton, yes. sexiest, you, not just sexiest write, doctor alive, sexiest write, man alive. You there write, you go, buddy. You write me and I'll write you in. All right, I, I do or wanna, no, I'll take 18, you take 19. And Dr. Judy, I mean, in a very respectful way, we need to get on that committee. It seems like a good committee. I think that's a fun committee.